this is the new larger bracket. All the turbines with KT blades will now come with roller kits if they come with the new heavy duty bracket. And this bracket is pitched back at the 10 degree angle we like. So the bolts are the same distance. Spins around, tracks the wind real easily. And this has uh, the five blade Ghost 74 inch, almost a seven foot diameter. We'll give you a close up shot now. bracket is all one piece. It's got the roller kit built into the bracket body. Made out of 316 steel. Very tough. I'm recording this from my desk one-handed so things might get a little shaky. But this is our new bracket, which is going to be the main bracket for all KT blades. So starting tomorrow, March 24th, all brackets for KT turbines will have this setup. Now, one of the nice features of the bracket is it has a built-in roller mount. In other words, we've just overcut this metal big enough so it'll take an inch and a half or a two and a half inch roller. Also, in the event, in the future, if this metal ever wears out, which, I don't know, might take 30 or 40 years, we have a plate that bolts on and there's two bolts to hold it and the basically the pressure of the roller is going to keep that pressed on there for the top of the plate we have a bushing plate that mounts like so on these four bolts I doubt if these will ever get loose or wear out this is heavy 316 steel which is a large cry over the 11 gauge we've been using for years and years on these smaller brackets but in all fairness these have been for small blades little blades for 61 inch circles 59 inch circles uh, you know these have been some small diameter lightweight turbine mounts and we're still going to continue selling these for as long as we have small blades. And we're down to about 10,000 small blades, so we'll be selling these for a, probably a couple of years still. But this is going to be the mainstay of our business. Now, let me tell you some features about it. We were building all these furling brackets you know to uh, make the turbine mount in a different spot and and push in a different area and we figured out we didn't really have to make it furl very far or push very far off center to get a furling action so these are alternate mount points for furling if you do get uh, just a little too much noise off your turbine in a high high speed wind zone you can mount it here or here and this will really slow your turbine down at speeds of 40 to 60 miles an hour and and above that it'll completely stall your turbine if you put it here and probably stall your turbine at about 90 miles an hour if you put it there this 
little offset makes a huge difference when it starts pushing sideways on the turbine and making it run, run at a 45 degree angle. Uh, so that's the new KT mount. What else can I say about it? Oh, if you have, uh, let's say, a two and a half inch bracket, but you want to convert over to, that's an older model, uh, two inch and a half, you can just mount one of these bushings here and now you can put this on an inch and a half pipe. And we'll also have bushings for the for the two and a half inch water pipe also. So it just gives you a lot of different options. This also has the full circle for the furling. And from this day forward, everything will have a roller bracket. It just worked out so nicely. We went and bought these in bulk. Got a really good price on them. And we're just going to be giving these away for free with the turbines. And uh, everything with KT is going to have these heavy duty brackets because a big blade needs, really needs this kind of sturdiness. It really needs this kind of mass to, to make it last. Uh, the days of this for a for a huge propeller with a seven foot diameter are over you've you know at, at some point you you can make things bigger and better but at some point you've just got to say you know i've made it bigger and better enough where this isn't going to work anymore you you got to move on and and make everything a little tougher uh, so that's what we're doing in 2017 more later. Bye-bye.